Abby Steiner just got a terrifying warning from Jenna Prandini and Brittany Brown. With the addition of the women's 300 meters race, the 115th Milrose Games, which are widely considered the most prestigious indoor track and field event in the world, are continuing to take shape. Abby Steiner, who is swiftly becoming a star in the world of sprinting and who will be the primary focus of attention during this competition, is the current holder of the NC double at indoor record in this event. You should have a general understanding of these three athletes and their records before delving into the situation's specifics. By knowing this information, you will have a greater idea of who they are and the connections between these three incredible athletes. Abigail Catherine Steiner, born on November 24, 1999, is a sprinter who competes for the United States of America in the 100-meter dash. When she runs the 100 meters, she has a personal best time of 10.90 seconds. And when she runs the 200 meters, she has a personal best time of 21.77 seconds. Both the American record for the women's indoor 200 meter race, 22.09 seconds, and the NC double, a record for the women's outdoor 200 meter race, 22.06 seconds, are presently held by Steiner, 21.80 seconds. Steiner, who had previously won the prize, was the recipient of the 2022 Honda Sports Award for Track and Field. This honor is given to the female student athlete who best embodies excellence as a collegiate competitor in one of the 12 sports recognized by the NC double at Division I. The award is granted every year. In addition, the Southeastern Conference bestowed upon her the distinction of Women's Indoor and Outdoor Track Solar Athlete of the Year in the year 2022. Steiner graduated from the University of Kentucky College of Education with a bachelor's degree in kinesiology and exercise science in May 2022. He had completed the coursework required for the degree at that institution. She was accepted into the physical therapy program in the UK, but she has opted to put her education on hold to hunt for a job instead. She has been offered entrance into the program. On December 15, 2022, it was announced that Steiner had been given the Bowerman Award, which was given annually to the female collegiate track and field athlete who had the highest overall performance. Steiner was the recipient of this award. Jenna Elizabeth Prandini, an American track and field athlete born on November 20, 1992, is most well known for her speed as a sprinter. She has competed for the United States since she was a young child. On the other hand, she started her sports career by participating in jumping competitions. She has already won the event in the United States in 2015 and 2018, and she is the favorite to win the silver medal in the 200-meter race at the Olympics in both 2016 and 2020. She has already won the event in the United States. While competing for the University of Oregon in the 2015 NCAA Division I Outdoor Track and Field Championships, Prandini was victorious in the 100-meter dash and claimed the title champion. This triumph occurred not long before she went on to triumph at the national championship in 2015. By finishing in third place in the 200-meter event at the 2016 Olympic Trials, Prandini ensured that she would be able to compete in the event in the 2016 Summer Olympics. She ran in the 200-meter race at the Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro in 2016 and finished 10th overall. Born on April 18, 1995, Brittany Brown is a sprinter who competes for the United States of America. She earned the silver medal after finishing in second place in the 200-meter race at the World Championships in 2019, which was held in 2019. She ran the 100-meter dash in 11.49 seconds, plus 2.2 seconds, while she was a student at Claremont High School, and she ran in 11.59 seconds, plus 1.7 seconds, under conditions in which the wind was legal. The former time set a record, while the latter time was faster. She not only broke the previous record set by the school in the 100-meter dash, but she also broke the record and the wind legal record in the 200-meter dash with a timing of 23.68 plus 3.1 and 23.79 plus 6, respectively, in the event. She did this by running the event at a time that was compliant with the rules regarding the effects of the wind. Detailed Account of the Milrose Games On February 11, the New Bands Track and Field Center at the Armory will play host to the annual Milrose Games. The event is set to take place on that day. The feature expected to draw the most attention during these games will be a one-and-a-half-lap-long race. 
In the most important competition at the Milrose Games, world champion Jenna Prandini, who also took home a silver medal at the Olympics, and world silver medalist Brittany Brown will be two of the athletes fighting to see who can push Diana to her absolute limits. 2022 was a breakthrough year for Steiner, and as a result, she is now considered one of the best sprinters in the annals of the sport's long and illustrious history. During her tenure at the University of Kentucky, where she won four NCAA titles, she broke the American record in the 200-meter dash indoors and outdoors, setting a new record in both events. She also set a record for the university's 200-meter dash indoors. Steiner shatters her previous personal best to take first place in the US ATF 200-meter race. This qualification qualified her for the World Championships, where she competed and ultimately finished in the fifth position. Steiner was a member of the United States relay team that won both the 4x100-meter and the 4x400-meter events, bringing home two gold medals for the country. Steiner's professional career will begin with this particular competition, as it will be the first time he has taken part in the event of this historical significance. The athletes expressed their excitement by saying, I can't wait for the frills, the fans, and the fantastic competition that Milrose typically delivers. Steiner is the current holder of the record for the NC double, an indoor record in the 300-meter dash, a distance that is rarely competed in since he ran the race in 35.80 seconds which is the fastest time ever recorded for the event. In the women's category, Quanera Hayes has the American record of 35.71, but Shawnee Miller-Nibo established the world record in the 2018 Milrose Games with a 35.45. Quanera Hayes owns the American record. Shawnee Miller-Nibo set the global record. These two records were both established during the same competition. At Milrose, the two of them, or either one, may be in Japali at any time. While competing for the University of Oregon, Prandini was victorious in two USA Track and Field Championships and three NCAA Championships. In the 4x100 meter relay, she achieved a silver medal at the Olympics and a gold medal at the World Championships. The previous summer, the World Championships were held in Eugene, Oregon. In 2019, Brown stunned the sports community by winning silver in the 200 meter category at the World Championships held in Doha. The tournament was hosted in Qatar. The fact that she was victorious in the 200-meter event in the NACAC Championships in 2022 is evidence that her previous accomplishments were not the result of mere luck. Cynthia Bolingo, who currently holds the record for the women's 300-meter dash in Belgium and earned a silver medal at the European Indoor Championships, will also compete in that event at the Milrose Games. Cynthia Bolingo won the silver medal in the European Indoor Championships. At the Milrose Games, some of the best athletes in the world will compete against one another. These competitors will include dozens of Olympians and world champions in their respective sports. Jordi Beamish, Cooper Tier, Josh Kerr, Katie Negyard, Sandy Morris, Katerina Stefanidi, Ryan Krauser, and Joe Kovacs are just some of the names that have already been announced. There will be a considerable number of additional names announced as well. The competition known as the Milrose Games is considered to be the most prestigious event on the World Indoor Tour. At the Milrose Games, the best competition at every level, from young to college to club to professional, is exhibited. This ensures that every participant will be able to find something that they will appreciate about the tournament. Regarding the most recent update from Milrose Games, that is all we have time for now. If you enjoy the content, please like, follow, and comment to show your appreciation and support. Additionally, make sure to our channel, so you are notified immediately when we upload new videos or updates to our channel. We hope everyone is enjoying the content we provide. See you super soon.